what is up everybody welcome back to the unknown codings channel uh doing something for the second time on this channel i've done glow in the dark stuff in the past but uh this is obviously a different color and a different process and this one actually works unlike the glowy clear that i tried from prismatic let's get into this now this wouldn't be a proper video if it didn't show me showing already blasted parts and me just blowing them off um He's obviously hung, everything's masked off appropriately. I'm just going through removing all the loose debris or anything else that might have landed on these since they've hung or any sand or debris that wasn't blown off after the sandblasting process. Terribly sorry for the shortage on videos. Me being sick, didn't work for a couple days and uh, didn't record content. Uh, I could have been editing in that time, but I was really just sleeping trying to get better. Uh, as you can tell, my voice is still a little bit weird, but, you know, it is what it is. It's always been a little bit weird. And the color that we're working with here is uh, Orange Glow from Prismatic. Uh, I'll put the product code here in the video somewhere. And this is just a bright, bright orange. Now, I did say it glows in the dark, but it requires a black light. So it doesn't glow on its own. Um, like most glow in our products, they would require being charged and... I mean, if we're all being honest here, most of the ones that are available on the internet are not great um, for this process. This one does look cool under a black light, which you probably saw in the thumbnail. You'll see in a little better video at the end of this. Um, but obviously the process is exactly the same. Uh, this customer didn't want it primed, so we're gonna end up doing two coats of the orange on this. Um, this orange was kind of interesting to spray. Uh, I kept having a bunch of areas that I could just not get powder to stick. Um, using the Gima Optiflex Pro, uh, traditionally that is not a problem, obviously. Um, you'll see actually after the first cure, uh, I'm actually gonna point out a bunch of spots that I you know, thought had good coverage, but looked at them had almost no coverage. Um, one thing I noticed while shooting, not just this bright color, but a lot of bright colors is when you have a bright color like this on parts, especially sandblasted parts, there it tends to be like a, I mean, I guess I want to say like a glow off of the color naturally. Um, you'll even see it kind of lights up the booth when we pull these out of the oven, they kind of light up the corner that they're sitting in. Um, I guess that's just one of the upsides or downsides, I guess, depending on how you see it with fluorescent orange or fluorescent anything colors. I guess now's the time of the video. If you like powder coating or powder coating content or just want to support my channel, make sure you hit the like on this video and hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you get a heads up every time we post a new video. I'll be, I'm gonna try to post at least this month, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, I have two videos already lined up. They're ready, they're actually already uploaded. All right, and after the uh, flow out in the oven, I'm gonna go through here and show you a bunch of spots that I, I, mean, I guess just missed. Looked like I had good coverage. Uh, to be fair, I didn't check over this with an LED flashlight like I normally do. No, I knew that I was going in for a second coat. I knew that the first coat was going to expose all the areas that I kind of missed. Um, you end up seeing me go over this with a second coat. I end up shooting most of those areas first to make sure that I get good coverage, and then I go back and I spray the whole thing uh, as though I had not already coated those areas. All right, and this is the first time you're really seeing how bright this color is. Um, it's actually even brighter uh, in person. The camera doesn't quite pick it up. But this is after a uh, second flow out. Uh, it's basically a partial cure and then it's cooled down and uh, we are ready to throw some clear vision on this now. Another friendly reminder, if you are into powder coating content, make sure you check out the UKC Army group on Facebook. Um, I've seen that there are a bunch of people who are trying to add the UKC members only Facebook group. Um, that one is actually for paid members only on this channel, which you can become a paid member. Um, down below you can hit the join button and there's some different tiers to go.
I've had a couple people ask me uh, why I'm using Clear Vision because I traditionally don't like it. Uh, we're actually trying to get rid of the Clear Vision and go to nothing but uh, Tiger's Tangle Clear. Um, I like that clear way better. Just had a ton of this Clear Vision, so we're trying to get through all that. And then uh, you'll probably never hear that name again here. I know I mentioned I have some other videos coming up, but I actually have some new, uh, I guess, segments coming up that I'm going to be doing once or twice a week, uh, doing powder coating reviews about videos. So we'll talk about that more in the next video. I'm just giving you guys a little warning. This is a nightmare. Bam. See this part dropping. The camera was actually over here to show you guys the color change that this goes through over time. You can see right there, it just shifted to the fully cool. It gets much brighter after it's cooled down, but that part uh, fell off the rack after it was just sitting still, uh, hanging out, just uh, cooling down for the last time. Kind of a bummer, wasn't a big deal. Um, got it stripped, was uh, powder cut, I think, the next morning, just knocked it out. But anybody who's ever dropped a hot part or dropped a fully cured part, knows that, that is about as bad as it gets in the powder cut world. There's nothing worse. Alright, here we are for that uh, grand finale, so to speak. Bam. This is where the black light, uh, I brought a black light to the shop just to do this, just do this in one of the other beads of the shop. Turn the lights off and let just the black light shine on it. Um, it's actually, you know, a little different in person, obviously, but this kind of gives you an idea. It is a very bright orange. It looks kind of milky and washed out sometimes in this video. Um, let me shine the light on it. That is not actually what it looks like in person, it's just the video is not able to pick it up very well. Um, you can see it's actually still really bright, even uh, when it's just sitting in the booth with no light. It's a very bright color. Now the chances that you're going to be carrying around a black light and showing this off to all your friends, utilizing the black light at the dunes or whatever is not very good, but it's a cool product nonetheless. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to seeing you guys next time.